A small pontoon boat is trapped in churning rapids. The boat bucks violently as a mother and daughter and a close friend hold on for dear life. None of them are wearing life jackets, and two of them cannot swim. The drama is unfolding on the Wapsipinicon River. It flows through the normally peaceful town of Quasquitan, Iowa. Residents of the town sometimes take to the river to cool off on hot summer days. That was Tina Chesmore's plan when she asked her daughter, Sarah, if she would like to go for an afternoon boat ride. Excited, Sarah invites her friend, Joanna, to join them. But things quickly begin to go wrong. As the pontoon nears a small dam, the boat's outboard motor fails. Powerless in the current, the pontoon is swept over the dam and becomes trapped in the turbulent water at its base. 14-year-old Joanna waves to onlookers for help. The pontoon's life jackets are stored beneath the benches, but the women are too afraid to let go of the boat and put them on. A good friend of Tina's family, Richie Espy, arrives with his buddy Jeff Cress to help the women. We didn't have no plan. Just try to get them out of the water. Richie attaches a life preserver to a rope, and Jeff hurls it to the pontoon again and again. Suddenly, the current forces the pontoon over on a 90-degree angle. People on the riverbank watch helplessly. The three women on board are paralyzed with fear. The water and everything was terrible. I think they were just going through terror. They were thinking about the worst. The group manages to tie one of the ropes to the pontoon's gate. Now, Richie guns the motor and desperately tries to pull the bucking pontoon out of the rapids. But the boat won't budge. Suddenly, everyone's worst fear is realized. The pontoon flips over, sending the three women into the raging water. Seconds later, 12-year-old Sarah breaks the surface. Watch closely. Sarah can't swim. But her will to survive is so fierce that she forces herself to keep her head above water. With Sarah safely lifted into their boat, Richie and Jeff move closer to rescue Joanna and Tina. We were just trying to reach out and just try to grab them. We didn't have a long enough rope in the boat to bring back to the safety raft. Then, just as Tina and Joanna are about to succumb to exhaustion, the pontoon rises up out of the water and seems to hand-deliver Joanna and Tina to their rescuers. Richie and Jeff pull the two women to safety. Today, Sarah still vividly remembers the ordeal. And on the boat, I kept telling my mother, I don't care what else happens as long as I live for my 13th birthday. And I, myself, didn't think we were going to get out of there. I was scared. While Sarah was able to get away from the capsized boat, Tina and Joanna were trapped under the pontoon after it flipped. Well, I didn't realize where I was at. I thought I was in hell. I think I died because it's dark and it's noisy. The women manage to swim out from beneath the pontoon just as Richie and Jeff are able to get their own boat nearer to them. Yeah, and so they finally get a couple ropes out to us. We grab the ropes and we swim for dear life. Richard Espy grabs me and flips me over and like actually flips me over. <laughs> like my feet go flying in the air. How could a peaceful afternoon on the river turn into such a terrifying experience? Unknown to Tina, Sarah, and Joanna, unusually heavy rainfall had increased the volume of the river. As a result, the water at the base of the dam had been transformed into what experts call a hydraulic. 
In a hydraulic, water flowing over the dam plunges to the bottom of the river. This in turn pushes the river water upward, creating a bulge at the surface. As water flows off the top of the bulge, it creates an upstream flow, which traps the pontoon. For the three women, the terror of that day is a fading memory. What they remember most as they walk along the banks of the Wapsipinicon River is their friend's heroism. I consider Richie a hero and I consider him my guardian angel. Because if it wasn't for him, I would not be here today. I don't think any of us would have been here today. I just felt really, really good about myself because I did something good for people. And though Richie didn't know it then, he just granted Sarah's only wish. We had my 13th birthday party. Everybody made out just fine. It was a very large party. <laughs> Today, the residents of Quasquedon remember the incredible drama that took place here and have a new respect for the power of the Wapsipinicon River.